Hello everyone, welcome back to the Revs Institute Workshop where today I wanted to give you a quick overview on what it takes to replace the seals on the, on the pistons of our caliper. Uh, this actually part belongs to the Porsche Elva which we are in the process of going through the car and doing some, uh, some changes on it. The first thing I want to do is remove the pads. They've already been labeled outer pad and inner pad. Um, the reason why we do that is we want to make sure we know what's happening to each side of the caliper, each side of the piston, so each uh, pad always stays on the same side. The next thing I'm gonna do is remove the brake line. This line was previously replaced uh, about a year ago and hasn't gotten much use, so it should be okay. What I will do is replace these uh, washer seals, call them soft copper washers, I'll pull this there. Next, I will remove the brake line that's on the caliper. process that that is. So now what I'm going to do is I have to pop the pistons out of the caliper housing or the piston housing. So what we need to do is I'm going to set this in this container because I'm going to insert an air line here and you'll see the piston slowly move out. I'll put the rag here for cushioning so it doesn't damage the piston or the caliper. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do it in little pulses so you'll see you see the piston pop out so it's going to keep going. Keep going and it pops out. Now I'm gonna keep each side correspondingly to where I remove it from. Um, I have the bleeder line facing up, so I'm gonna put it on this side, which corresponds with the outer pad. This is the outer piston and this is the inner piston. Inner because it's on the inside of where it mounts. So now what I need to do is remove this bleeder screw and switch it over to the other side so I can remove now this piston. I'll do the same thing. We'll tighten that down. I'll get my rag as a cushion, and then we'll do the same thing in pulses. I'll slowly pop the piston out, and you'll see it. And the piston pops out. We'll put that there. And in here, you can see where the actual seals sit in the bore of the piston. I'll clean that out. Now, with the pick, I'll carefully remove the seals. Now, these are, you know, they look in really good shape, but since I have everything apart, it's something very inexpensive to replace, and uh, since I have it apart, it's uh, worth doing. So, I'll remove that side, clean this side out. Now, I'll take some spray clean and kind of wash it all down. So what it does is just a solvent that evaporates very quickly and uh, allows me to flush anything that's out in the, in the piston bores, um, just flush it out. So now I'll remove our bleeder screw from here. Next, I'll remove these brake pad tabs. And the reason why I'm doing that is just to clean under here since I have it apart. It's a good opportunity just to remove everything, give it a good clean. Something I have a little stainless wash brush, or just give it a little brush, make sure all those small little cavities are all nice and clean. So flush it down with brake clean. I'll flush down all the passages. going to carefully blow through the passages, make sure that's all clean. We don't want anything getting caught inside of the brake system and potentially ruin a seal or causing some kind of blockage. So our caliper is ready to go. Next, I'm going to go ahead and uh, clean the pistons. Now, when I'm cleaning, I'm also, you know, I'm taking a look, make sure there's nothing abnormal, uh, any unusual, maybe scrape marks or wear, but it all looks good. The kind of markings or witness marks that you see is where the piston kind of sits for most of the period, or unless, it, you know, the pedal's being depressed and the, and the pistons are being actuated by the hydraulic fluid, but it all looks okay. And I'm going to feel, make sure I don't feel anything gouging or that could harm the, the seals. Now you see there's a little bit of rust. This is actually the part that gets exposed and makes contact with the pad. 
Uh, just to prevent rust from building up, I just take a scotch sprite and kind of clean the rust off of there. Try to clean that as best as possible. Give it a little nice clean. So this piston is ready to go. All right, that's my inner piston. This is my outer piston. Same thing with this one. I'm making sure I don't see or feel anything that might damage the seal. Everything feels good. Clean it one more time. Okay, so now comes the assembly process. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to inspect the cylinder bores, make sure they're all okay where the pistons go. Everything looks good. I don't feel any gouges or anything like that. So now we have this special assembly lube. Before I insert these, I'm gonna get this. It's a Porsche brake assembly lubricant. Take a little bit and a little goes a long way, so you don't really need much. I'll rub it all the, on both sides of the, of the seal. And this just helps on assembly slide in, make sure nothing gets torn or catches or anything. So I'll insert this into the groove that the cylinder bore has for the seal. I'll make sure that it's nice and in place, centered. Next, that's my inside, so I'll make sure I'll grab my inner piston. And then I'll also apply a little bit of this Porsche assembly lube. And what this is gonna do, it's just gonna ease in the assembly. It's gonna allow this to slide in there and not tear or grab the seal. I mean, the, the, yeah, the seal. I'm gonna take it in here, insert it. Now, I wanna make sure it goes in square with the housing before I try to press it in. And I'm kind of wiggling back and forth to make sure it's going in. And then you can see it slowly just slides right in there. I'm gonna make sure it all slides in. Yep, and you can see it actuating, kind of pulsating up and down. That's what you want. It shows that it, uh, the piston is, is, is kind of free in there with just enough resistance. So next, we'll start on the other side. I'll grab my new seal, make sure my gloves are, they don't have anything that could harm the seal. Also grab a little bit of assembly lube, cover the seal in it. Then I'll insert that into the groove in the cylinder bore. I'll grab my outer piston. Also apply a bit of assembly loop in it. And I'm also feeling to make sure nothing is in there that could harm <coughs> the seal or even gouge the piston. But I don't feel everything, anything, everything feels good. Same thing, I'll grab the piston. Before I insert it, I wanna make sure it's square to the caliper. And then you just kinda of wiggle it and it goes right in. So we have the pistons installed with new seals. So next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install these brake pad tabs. Now the brake pads do slide very minimal amount on those uh, rails. So I'll just apply a little bit of anti-seize. I don't wanna apply too much because if this does get, you know, this tends to get fairly warm. I don't want this at any point to sweat in between the rotor and the brake pad. So it's just a little bit to lubricate where these tabs right on those, uh, those shoulders. Now I've already cleaned all this hardware. You can see where the witness marks are on that nut, so I'll put that face down. Get the one on the bottom, put our lock washer. Same thing, I can see the witness marks on the nut. Now these don't have to be very tight. Okay, so now we'll install our brake lines. These recently were rebuilt uh, and installed, so I don't need to make new ones. Verify that's the way it goes. And the same thing, I want to apply just a little bit of uh, what we use is this Worth Copper NICs. Now, I'm not going to apply it anywhere where the brake fluid is actually going to flow through. I just want to apply a little bit on the threads. And same as the, that assembly grease, a little bit goes a long ways and it's messy. So you want to make sure you don't get it kind of spread out everywhere. I want to start these by hand. I like to get a good feel of it. Maybe a few threads going in before I apply a wrench to it because uh, you can easily sometimes get these cross-threaded. Now, if I'm able to by hand turn it more than a couple threads in, then I'll go ahead and do it. I just get a good feel of what's happening. Now that that's pretty much all the way down, I'll take my line wrench. And I'm kind of doing both at the same time, so it gradually goes down equally and evenly. 
So the caliper mounts on this side. My bleeder screw obviously goes on the outside. I'll uh, likewise make sure I apply a little bit of NICs. Actually, this is still dirty. So I'm gonna clean this a bit. Same thing, I'll apply a little bit of NICs on the threads. I want to make sure, like I said, not to get that where the fluid flows through. And as the brake line, I'll thread it in by hand, then I'll get our line wrench and snug it down. Now, where our brake line, our brake hose goes, we had this banjo bolt with one washer on the outside and then two on the bottom. The reason why it's two is because it's a little bit of recessed where that base is. So I'll take these off. I already have a washer that goes on the outside and I have two washers for the shoulder. So install that there. Get the washers down in there. Now I'm not going to snug this down completely. I'm going to wait until it's mounted on the car. That way I know the direction that this should face in. But that is how you rebuild a uh, brake caliper. We'll see you guys soon for another video. Thank you.